I uh, want to thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, Council President. I very much appreciate how you shuffled the deck to make sure. Uh, in fact, I'm grateful I didn't speak after midnight and the lights were out. Uh, maybe, just maybe, we can get somebody else to hold the slips and hand them to you, uh, rather than uh, you uh, select who you'd like at what time. Uh, you know, as I listened to Miss Field speak earlier, I couldn't help but think, you know, this new and improved city council, after the debacle of last year and this incompetent mayor that, of course, I have no great love for, after this mayor uh, squandered a million four, but at the 11th and a half hour, literally a minute before midnight, before those funds would be uh, or, uh, returned back to HUD, he had the audacity to come up with his cockamamie scheme, as Mr. Kincaid had already articulated, uh, for <coughs> the Katrina flood victim uh, folks. And there were people gullible enough in this community to actually buy into that ridiculous thing. Of course, no one knew about the flood that would hit New Orleans, you know, when, uh, when uh, these funds had to, uh, to be uh, correctly uh, uh, dispersed. He just came up with this as a convenient argument to, to point the finger at the uh, council. And uh, with all due respect to Mr. Nelson, and I say that truly in this case, with all due respect, I don't doubt his desire to ensure that these monies won't be blown, won't be flushed down the toilet. But <clears throat> let's face it, those who know the procedures, and there are people that know them far better than I, know that this money's probably gone. So what this means, my friends, is the poorest, most in need in this community have again been, oh, I wanted to say something maybe not so uh, appropriate, but have been muffed over. How's that? Rather than say screwed. They've been muffed over, and so millions of dollars badly needed for people in this community, the poorest, most in need, will be lost. This council, this council here, you people, not all of you, but a majority of you, and we know who they are, gave this mayor carte blanche to handle the, uh, the uh, HUD funds. The administration was given carte blanche. And what happened? He screwed up his administration is screwed up to the point that these people will suffer. <clears throat> Not you people, these people. The people in this community have suffered. And of course, now we see, as there's talk of a disciplinary, or disciplinary, sorry, I'm going back to my days in corrections as a union president. As we talk of an investigative hearing, for this incompetent old person that, uh, that uh, I saw in committee how they're obstructionists. Let's be clear, we know who the obstructionists are that, you know, want to put their eyes, you know, cover their eyes, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil of the administration. We know that the council president is an obstructionist in that regard. We know that Councilman Gonzalez is an obstructionist. Councilwoman Hill is an obstructionist. Councilman uh, 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 Nelson is an obstructionist. They don't want to know the truth, but I believe the other five of you do. And that's what the community will be watching, what the other five of you do. Because I don't think it matter if we had photographs of Don Williamson, you know, holding a little boy by the hand, leading him somewhere. Those four are not going to do anything about anything. But the other five of you, the other five of you, we hold our faith that the truth will be brought out. Because let me close with this remark. If you don't take care of business now, this man, if he runs for office next year, and he gets away with manipulating city employees to do his bidding, then what is he going to do next year? Thank you. He's going to do the same and worse.
Thank you, Mr. Take Harris. Take care of business now and uh, enforce the law. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Council President, I'd like to say something. Uh, Ms. Hill, Ms. Sam. You owe me an apology. I am not an obstructionist, but you being a f good friend of Josh Freeman, my, fo my former opponent, lied repeatedly during my campaign. So I get a little hot about this kind of issue. And I was the first to submit questions for this hearing coming on Thursday. So you need to check out your facts before you accuse anyone.